I've heard of this place. <laughs> Another X on the beach. I know, what are we doing? Uh, what, are we, what are we put ourselves <laughs> in for again? It's, the, it's just, I don't know why we do it. I, know. I actually do it. But uh, it's like a challenge, I think. <laughs> it's like, literally, it's like a challenge. You know there's going to be X's, you know they're going to get the worst X's possible. But when you get the um, call, like, guys, we've got another one, is it instant, like, yeah, right? Or is it like, oh, what do I do? Who, hang on, who have I been with recently? It's quite a lot for me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. It's just like, getting a call for work, like, do you know what I mean? It's like, as in you get a, oh, I'm going to work tomorrow morning. It's yeah. like, oh, you're doing next to the beach in three weeks time. It's like, all right. But like, the thing is, some of your relationships, both of you, haven't ended the best, have they? <laughs> the thing is, I was, I, I was actually okay with Lily. We ended up, like, we ended quite well. So I wasn't scared of seeing her. I was nervous, but I wasn't scared of her. Did you know she was going to come oh, out of that thought, water? That, that was my only real big ex, wasn't it? Like, I'd been there like a year and a half, so I knew she, if anyone's going to come in, it would have been her. But like, I wasn't, I was more nervous because Lily's not like an angry person. Do you know what I mean? So I was scared to see her because I hadn't seen her for like six months. We so. all know Megan is a psycho, so <laughs> obviously we didn't end on the best of terms, but if she would have come down, it wouldn't have bothered me, but like, it would have been nice to talk to her and ask why she did what she did. But like, it's more my other ex, like the one I was with for two years, I was worried about her coming out. Because if she'd have gotten somebody, then I would have been it's proper just, it's just It's just scary, isn't it? You, you, you go to the beach and all of a sudden, like, you think it's, it's not scary in. and you just think, it could be her, what was her? Oh my God, she's crazy. Oh my God, what was she? I, it, all of a sudden, like all these names just go through your head. It's horrible. And you're waiting there for so long. It's just waiting and waiting and waiting. Anticipation builds up. And you're all chatting about it and you're thinking, there could be this person, there could be this person. It's just the worst place you can ever be in your life. I mean, it looks quite dramatic on TV. Is it actually like that in real life? Oh, yeah, it's worse. It's hard because you're, you're in the villa for like, what, 30, 32 days or something. You've got no phone, no internet, no TV, no nothing. So you just, you're sitting there with your ex-girlfriend, a bird you're probably shagging, about four girls you've shagged. <laughs> And you've got sitting, no mates to talk to, no family to talk to. <laughs> sitting around the pool, like, absolutely. Like, it's, a, it's just an awkward, awkward situation. Do you worry about your family knowing that, oh, no, I've got with her, oh, no, I've slept with her? Do you, do you ever worry about that? Them watching at home, or do they think, not watch? I think your mum's kind yeah, of... I think our mum's kind of... I think they're kind of used to it by now. <laughs> yeah. Your mum's had more parts nipping on her TV than she can... I don't know, uh, I watch it. If I catch watch it, I'm turn it off. <laughs> well, I've got the uh, Sky TV guy, delete everything. No, I just go, mum, don't watch this episode, just... Skip this one, watch next week. <laughs> we talked about Megan a minute ago. Did you yeah. watch her on Big Brother at all? No, I was too busy working hard. But, like, <laughs> like I, I, if, I, if I would have seen it, it wouldn't have bothered me, like, but she just did what she had to do, didn't she? Well, I, I think I deserve an award for what I've been through, do you know what I mean? Because, put with her, it did take quite a lot. What's she like as a girlfriend? She, actually, she actually can be a good girlfriend when she wants to be, but it's like, like, People only see the crazy side of her, but there's more to her than that, I'll yeah. be honest with that. Well, the last time I saw you with her, <laughs> you were both doing accents, doing each other's accents, talking about taking her home, seeing your mum, you were living with each other. Yeah, we were living. Mums. I know. How wow. times change, eh? Now you're I know. on the beach in the middle of Whoopi. <laughs> Where is Whoopi? <laughs> Where are we? I've got to ask, biggest regret? Have you got any regrets? Posting on television. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've seen it of you. Yeah, I regret that big time. <laughs> what did you, oh, proposing. Yeah, I mean, what was going through your head? So when, when you're in that <laughs> what bubble... What was going through your head? Well, when you're in that bubble, obviously, it's quite an intense environment and just... You do some things that you wouldn't do normally back home because it's just, yeah, it's a whirlwind in there. And you just forget about reality back home, <coughs> I think, and just... 